Welcome to Whole and Healthy Cooking with Chef Val. Hi, I'm Chef Valerie Wilson. I've been teaching healthy whole foods cooking classes for 25 years, since 1997. My website is macroval.com. You can find out about all of my upcoming cooking classes. You can purchase any of my five cookbooks and you can also connect with me about doing a one-on-one -on -one lifestyle counseling on my website. So today I thought I would get kind of personal and share with you one of my healing journeys that has happened to me since I changed my diet and got rid of refined processed foods and I started eating healthy whole foods according to the principles of macrobiotics. So when I was about 18 years old, I worked at a delicatessen and I was the manager. We made subs, we made pizza, so lots of white flour. We made the bread from scratch, lots of cheese. And by the way, cheese, when I was younger, was my favorite food. I literally ate it every single day. So what happens when I turn around about 18 years old? I get eczema. At first it was all over my hand and it got so bad where I couldn't even close my hand like this. And so of course I went to the doctor to find out what was going on and he gave me some cream. And the cream worked initially and took the eczema away off my hand. And then a year later the eczema came back and now it's on my legs. Um, it eventually moved to across my chest here. And so again, I went back to the doctor and they said, well, it's hereditary. Well, guess what? I asked everybody in my family. Nobody had ever had eczema. Grandparents, great grandparents, cousins, nobody. I had eczema. I asked the doctor, well, do you think it's because of the sunshine? Because in the summertime, when I go out and I get sun, it seems to get better, it gets worse in the winter. Doctor said, I don't know. I said, do you think it has anything to do with eating sugar? Because when I eat sugar, I get a scratch attack and I just itch until I bleed. Doctor said, I don't know. The doctor basically said, we don't know. It's hereditary. I'm sorry, but that is not why I had eczema. So again, they give me this cream. The cream seemed to work. I suffered with this eczema and then it became very obvious to me that every time I ate white refined sugar, I would have an attack. And when you have eczema, you have incredibly dry skin and it itches really bad and you scratch until you bleed. And then it's bleeding and it oozes. That is what eczema is. Literally, you're sleeping at night and you wake up and you just have an attack where you have to scratch yourself. You scratch until you bleed. It is not good at all. This takes me back to a very stressful time in my life with this eczema. It was, com it was very uncomfortable. Now, I discovered Mac products in my early 20s, so I was very young. And so I had already stopped eating white refined sugar because I connected the pieces and I knew that that was one of the reasons. But then I discovered, you know, macrobiotics and healthy whole foods and get rid of, you know, the extreme foods, but also dairy. So I read Diet for New America, which if you have not read that yet, please read that book. That's what prompted me to become vegan. And so I also read Milk, the Deadly Poison tells you all about dairy and what it's doing to your body. And I thought, that's never going in my body again. So my eczema seemed to clear up. Yay, I'm happy. So it was just a little patches here and there. Well, I was about 25 and I was in a very stressful relationship, but now the relationship was about five years. So it was actually when I was about 28 or 29, the relationship was very stressful. And I am the personality type where I try and please everybody. I don't wanna make waves and I keep everything inside of myself and I don't talk about it because I don't wanna argue and I keep everything bottled up. By the way, that's the personality profile of someone who has eczema. You keep all your emotions inside of you, then what happens? It erupts in your skin and comes out. So I was in a very, very stressful environment. 
I was not sleeping at night and the eczema came back over my whole body. I did not have it on my face, but literally from the neck down, I had eczema. It hurt to put my clothes on, okay? This was the life that I lived for two years. It hurt to wear clothes. Now, I ended that relationship, which was a step in the right direction. Not that there was anything wrong with what was going on. It just was not the relationship that I should have been in at the time. And so the eczema got a little bit better, but still very, very bad. Um, I came across somebody who was into the, the health field, and he introduced me to a hair analysis did a hair analysis and it literally said every paragraph, stress, 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 stress. You have stressed yourself out to the point of exhaustion. Your adrenal glands are sitting there not working. You also have a toxic level of aluminum in your system. This is why you have eczema. Now, how did I get aluminum in my system? Well, let's see. I ate cheese every day of my life, up until my early 20s. There are certain cheeses that have aluminum in them. I used to drink Diet Coke. It was my drink, and I always drank it out of aluminum cans. And there's probably some other way that I got aluminum that has to do with a needle, right? Yeah, so I had aluminum in my system. I had to get rid of that. I had to detox. I had to get all the stress out of my life, and I had to feed and nurture my adrenal glands. Now, this took many years to accomplish. So, um, I am happy to report that I do not have eczema. I have not had eczema for over 20 years, and um, I worked my adrenal glands back to health. I learned a lot of foods that feed and nurture your adrenal glands. Uh, I also uh, became very spiritual, got into meditation to help relieve the stresses. I now run a spiritual group. We meet once a month. We do meditations. I do guided meditations, and I teach spiritual principles to the group now. And if that's something you're interested in, please contact me, and I can have you join my group. But I wanted to share my personal story with you to let you know that, number one, you, if you have a condition, it's not a lifelong condition. The body has the ability to heal itself, but you need to know what's going on. You need to strengthen the body, strengthen the organs that need help, and you need to feed it healthy, whole foods without chemicals. Very important. Now, I've gone on to help other people through my lifestyle counseling. And you can find out more information on macroval.com about that. So I'm very in-depth when I work with you. I want to know everything that's going on, what your past, your present, what's going on, what are the foods that you're eating, um, what are the health issues you're dealing with. And if you're taking any prescription drugs, I also do a lot of research on that because maybe there's some side effects going on. And so I work with you one-on-one, -on -one. we set up a consultation, and I have a lot of food suggestions, foods that are going to help your body. But then maybe some foods that you're eating might be not so good for your body. So that's one way that I can definitely help you. And I want you to know that don't give up hope. If you think you've tried everything, maybe you haven't. Because when I had eczema, I was living a macrobiotic lifestyle. I had been living a macrobiotic lifestyle for a little over the last six years or so, but there were certain things I was doing, and of course the stress in my life. I went to a homeopathic doctor, I went to an herbal doctor, um, I did iridology where he looked in my eyes. Many people suggested many things for me. Nothing helped until I got the knowledge that my adrenal glands were not working and I had a toxic level of aluminum in my system. Once I had that knowledge and I knew what was going on, then I could heal my body. I could strengthen my adrenal glands and that's what I did. So if you want help healing your body, please contact me, macrovalve.com. Now remember, your journey to eating healthy begins with one small step. Let's take that small step together.